my friends, my name is LaserJet and today uh, you join me in our very first proper review on this channel. This is the most professional Hornby setup I've ever done in my life and the most probably the most professional review I'm ever going to be doing on this channel. But I thought, you know, it's good to bring back an old Hornby series because you guys have been wanting to do me. You've asked me to, a lot to do a Hornby series. I mean, I'm not going to exactly be as good as Sam's trains. And the plan is I'm not actually going to be trying and be as good as Sam's trains because I know Sam is an amazing guy and he has an amazing collection and he does amazing videos. So I thought I'm going to sort of have a go. But I just want to say that this is your guy's idea. So if anyone like says, oh, Lazy Jet's copying Sam's trains, just want to let you guys know it was all your idea. It was, it was, it was yours. It was your guys' idea. But to start off with this amazing series, we're going to kick it off with a good one because uh, we're going to be reviewing something I've never actually owned before. It is a GWR. Well, it's not actually in the GWR livery. It's actually in the British Railway livery. But it's a special edition of the Castle Class. I thought you know it would be it would be cool to actually own uh, a Castle Class. I never actually owned one before, so that's actually quite a good thing. But I also want to say is I want to apologise for the sweatiness of my face because it is actually the, the hottest day we've had in Britain. And I also want to say that I actually uh, went to the train shop in Eastleigh uh, early morning uh, to collect some more track to complete my uh, layout. But unfortunately, uh, when I got back, I realised I actually ran out of track. So I had to, had to go back to Eastleigh train shop to get some more track and then I decided to buy... Uh, castle class. So I thought, you know, this will be a uh, castle class will be a great thing to start off the new series on this channel. So I thought, you know, why not? And believe it or not, I actually met a fan at the train shop. His name was Ollie. Uh, I don't know if he's actually going to be watching this, but if you are my friend, uh, I want to say it was actually cool meeting you. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm assuming it was your dad as well who was there, or maybe it was your uncle, or maybe it was someone else. I, I don't know. But I just want to say it was nice meeting you. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this amazing castle class and put it on the. Uh, display box and see how well good in detail it is and then we'll test out on the layout to see how well this thing actually runs so whew, really excited let's get into our very first reviewing or ever on this chat well not really reviewing first reviewing on this channel but you know i'm really excited to bring this reviewing uh show back to the show this series back to the show so anyway let's get into the reviewing shall we so let's have a quick look at the castle class. I do love uh, the style of the box. I like how it says a uh, special edition on the side. And it's um, Earl of Mount Ed Edcombe, I think. I think that's what it says. I mean, I got my mum and dad trying to pronounce that, and they were sort of having trouble trying to read that name out as well. But the number is 50, uh, 5043. Marvellous. Uh, it cost me £100 at the train shop, so that's absolutely excellent. Uh, right, so let's gently get her out of the box. So this just slides out like that. Oh. Wow, let's just move this uh, out of the way so it doesn't get damaged or lost. But there she is. Oh, I love, I love the new um, Hornby packaging. I don't actually like the polystyrene foamy stuff because that always makes me cringe. It's all about the cringe, I suppose. But let's just get this out of its little um, case. There we go. So we'll put that on one side. Just have a look and see what we've got here. We've got like a little uh, manual thing that explains how the thing gets put together and like the wheelbase and everything. I actually might keep this actually because this might actually come in handy because I might actually do, I might customise my own um, castle class because I remember this is the very first castle class that I've ever owned. So let's get her out of her sh little shell. There we go. And we've got a lot of um, added parts here, like um, that are coupling and all this other bits of random stuff to go underneath the engine. Um, Oh, and a little piece there. I think I don't know what that's for, but we'll find that out later. But here she is in her little uh, packaging. I also remember I'm not very good at these reviewing things, but um, hopefully I will get better. Uh, and by the way, the cost class, I know literally nothing about them, so I don't know. I don't know any of their history or anything. They, all I know is their GWR, and they they just work fine. But let's get her out very carefully. I don't want to like. Oh, it's so delicate. I don't. I don't dare touch it because in case I might break a piece off this magnificent engine, then I'll be doomed. So I'm gonna just. See so if I can try and gently lift her up. There we go. Aha. Uh, there we go. Right. It's uh, oh oh marvelous. All right. Let me get like a good uh, angle so you guys can actually um, see. Let me just pick it up. There we go. So I'll move it in the closest to the counter so it will focus. Um, oh God, it won't focus. Just give me a moment to focus it in. There we go. It's all focused in now. So look at that. That just looks absolutely marvellous. See if I can try and show you with it with its tender as well. So you can get the tender in shot. But that just looks incredible. And I'll show you guys the other side. There we go. Look, that's just absolutely stunning. 
I always love the castle class. I mean, everyone keeps saying, what's my favourite out of the king class, the hall class, or the castle class, or the star class, or the manor class? Out of all of those, I mean, in my opinion, they all look very similar, but the castle class is actually my favourite, in my, in my opinion. I mean, I do like the castle class as tender. Because um, it actually looks like a Black Fives tender, or maybe actually it doesn't actually look like a Black Fives tender. I don't know, actually know why I said that. But it's got a nice cab detailing as well, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but that just looks absolutely good. I mean, for £100, I mean, I think penny, money well spent, I suppose. Actually, not money, I suppose. I mean, definitely. I mean, I, I am happy, because this is, remember, this is the very first castle class I've ever owned, so... I think that's what makes this one very special. So anyway, let's get her on the um, on the reviewing box. I call it the reviewing box. I don't know why, but that's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it the reviewing box. But I guess you guys have another name for it. But anyway, on to the reviewing box we go. So here she is. Oh, a little bit out of focus there. There we go. Let's get a good shot of the front first. There we go. Look, that's brilliant. So here she is in the, uh, in the reviewing box. I actually give you guys a quick shot of what the reviewing box is actually looks like it's just a little square box thing but anyway um but anyway here it is lovely uh god a little bit out of focus there god this is not very good very unprofessional i am but that's the classic laser jet not very professional with his videos but that just looks absolutely stunning i mean you can actually see the blackness very well against the white i always like the white backdrop let's get a good focus off the uh of its name plate on the sides let's zoom in a bit Marvelous. I will take. I will take some nice uh, pictures so you can actually see this very properly. <laughs> I'm not. As I said, I'm not very good at these reviewings, but uh, hopefully I will be. I'll, I will get better at them. There's a shot of the tender, but this just looks absolutely stunning. I cannot actually wait to get this running because I'm going to be honest. I actually haven't even seen this thing run yet, so I don't actually know if it runs well or bad. Uh, this review can go terribly wrong if uh, if it doesn't run very well. So and then I have to take it back, which is a bit of a shame, and I don't really want to. I hope you guys can forgive me of my fingerprints all over the tender. Hopefully that won't stay there forever. But I just thought you guys might like a good shot of the uh, loco from the side. So let's just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it properly. There we go. Just like so much amount of detail has went into making this model. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm just so happy right now. And I just love everything about the castle. Across the way it looks. It's oh, just... I'm a very happy man today, my friends. I am so happy. It's so nice to be doing some reviewing once again. You've just no idea how long I've been actually been waiting to do this reviewing videos. But there it is, looking at all its glory. I'm not very good at holding a camera, I'm going to be honest. I'm actually very shaky right now. I've got very shaky hands, unfortunately. But as I said, I will take a few pictures so you guys can actually get a nice... Uh, so you guys can get a good look of the of the, of the model. I don't really like calling the models. Uh, or this nice, amazing engine. So we've unboxed it, we've seen the detail on it. Now let's see how well it runs. I'm actually really excited. Right, so there she is on the tracks, looking sweet as ever. But uh, I have to do point out that um, some of the parts of my track are actually very old. So if the engine does get stuck on any parts of the track, uh, it's not the logo, so it's actually the fact that I don't actually have a very good uh, layout. Well, my track isn't actually very good, it's actually quite in bad condition but anyway uh, let's give her a little bit of power let's start off slow to see how good her crawling speed is oh there's no power right uh, sorry about that it wasn't actually plugged in <laughs> my fault right okay here we go take two uh, take second time's the charm let's do it let's give her a little bit of power see how good she's running very slow oh that's actually not bad is it a little bit noisy but you know we can get across over that See how well she goes backwards. Let's have a quick little look going backwards. Oh, not bad. That is not bad at all, is it? Yes, yeah, so I think that runs. I think this will be a great runner, actually. So let's actually get her started off. So let's give her a bit of more power. Uh, she's pulling three coaches today because I don't want to actually give her too much stress. So we're going to sort of give her a little bit of her because this is the first time I'm running her in. So we don't want to give her too much coaches. And these coaches are actually brand new as well. I actually bought these coaches today with the loco. So I thought it would look nice. So here she comes. Marvellous. That looks fantastic. And I hope you guys do like the new look of my layout. I actually given this my layout a nice full... Well, actually, it's, I've got given it two rails and two siding so this is actually the first time you guys are actually seeing my new layout as well but i've got these lovely coaches as well these two coaches I actually bought today because i thought they might like might look nice with uh my flying scotsman let's see how she's doing oh she's doing well she's doing very well indeed 
Yes, absolutely marvellous. Got a gorgeous looking engine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave her running in for a bit and I'll give you guys some nice cool shots of the castle class running on my track. So, um, oh, I think there was a little bit of a derailment there on the tender. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just see how the tender's doing. Uh, actually, I think it's fine. I think it's just me panicking too much. But anyway, uh, let's just enjoy the running session now, shall we, my friends? I think we shall. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the review on the Castle Class. It's not, I'm not very good at all these reviewing things, you have to forgive me, but I feel like it did good. I think, I think the Castle Class runs well, really well indeed. But I've got a lot of more ideas to come. Uh, if you guys uh, have any suggestions of what I should review next, please do leave your answers in the comment section below. Uh, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. And guys, again... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button as well. We'll turn the little bell notification on as well so you stay, no stay notified to the channel. I said that wrong, didn't I? But again, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. And I'll see you all next time. And remember, my friends, it's all about the game. Goodbye.